Welcome to Faith Formation. We are here Sunday morning live at 10 o'clock if you can make it to Sunday school, but we still want to offer this also for those of you that may not be ready yet, or maybe you're out of town or have other things going on, you can still be a part of Faith Formation at Highland Valley. And we are still kind of living through this season of transition, um, you know, transitioning to summer, leaving school, you know, transitioning more to in-person church. Some of you are transitioning to youth. We're, we're still living through this season of a lot of changes going on. And we're looking at where we can find God in all that. Whether we're really excited about it or a little bit scared and worried. Where is God in all this change? And last week we looked at Job. And Job suffered through a lot because of his faith. But we learned that God never leaves us. God's always in control. God is writing our story. We don't have to worry. We have to have faith and believe. And this week we're going to read from Ephesians. And this letter tells Christians that although they've made mistakes, um, God reached out to them. God gave them a new life in Christ. Um, this is a gift that they didn't deserve. But because of God's love, God reached out and offered them a new life in Christ and does the same for us. So once again, kind of a message of hope and comfort and love. And this week we're going to see how amazing it is to serve a God that loves us so much. Um, and Paul tells the Ephesians in these verses that we can all share the good news of Jesus. So I'm going to read Ephesians chapter 3 verses 7 through 13. God treated me with kindness. His power worked in me and it became my job to spread the good news. That sounds like us. Power within us and now we get to share the good news. I'm the least important of all God's people, but God was kind and chose me to tell the Gentiles that because of Christ, there are blessings that cannot be measured. God who created everything wanted me to help everyone understand the mysterious plan that he was, that has always been hidden in his mind. Then God would use the church to show the powers and authorities in the spiritual world that he has many different kinds of wisdom. God did this according to his eternal plan, and he was able to do what he had planned because of all that Christ Jesus our Lord has done. Christ now gives us courage and confidence so that we can come to God by faith. That's why she, you should not be discouraged when I suffer for you. After all, it will bring honor to you. What powerful, wise, comforting, inspiring words. Isn't that all of us, glory to God, who can do far more than we could ask or imagine by his power working within us? It's not us. It's not us. It's God. It's that relationship with God that gives us the power and the words and the wisdom and the strength to do what we do, to be good people to be disciples that make disciples. So how amazing is it to serve a God that loves us so much? Um, and as we continue to talk about transitions this month and as things continue to change, because they always will, I want you to think about how you can serve Jesus in all of it. How can you use that power and that confidence that God granted you to serve Jesus through all of the changes, the scary ones, the happy ones, the exciting ones, the worrying ones. If you're worried about church, pray about it. Just come check it out. Um, if you're missing your teacher, pray. Write him or her a note. If you're excited about a new sports team, um, pray and ask Jesus just to watch over your season. Changes can be hard. But it's easier when we invite God to be a part of it with us. So look at your changes. Look at your things going on. Look at your things happening. How 
are you inviting God to be in that, inviting God to be in you and using that power in you to help you get through all the things? And since we're talking about this, this mighty God, this powerful God that, that grants us courage and, and wisdom and, and lives inside us and helps us use what all the talents that we have, we're going to do one of my favorite songs, which is God Can Do. God can shut a lion's mouth and change the minds of kings. God can make a leopard dance and cause the blind to see. God can raise the dead and God can calm a raging sea. I can do it. God can do it. G L O R Y to God who can. God who can. G L O R Y to God who can. Do who who far beyond all that we could ask or imagine. By His power, work the thing that God can do. Ooh, ooh, far beyond all that we could ask or imagine. By His power, work the thing that God can do. God give me compassion when I see someone to see someone. In need. God please give me courage in the face of enemies. Change my heart and change my mind to love as You love me, 'cause I can do it. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for being with us. Thank you for giving us confidence. Thank you for letting us know your love and feel it every day. We know that you're with us in everything, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.